Now that printable guns are a reality, it's even more likely that anyone could have a weapon on them at any time. That's why airport security is more important than ever. TSA is considering allowing thousands of passengers to board commercial airplanes across the United States without being screened. Well, f me. <laughs> Yes, the TSA might eliminate screenings at more than 150 of the country's smaller airports. And sorry for the people who live in flyover states, but according to the US government, your lives are literally worth less. An elimination of security screening at small and some medium-sized airports that operate commercial planes with 60 seats or fewer. Their operating theory is attacks with small aircraft would not be as attractive a payoff to terrorists because the potential for loss of life would be less than what terrorists could achieve with larger planes. Terrorism isn't a numbers game. Killing 60 people in a plane hijacking is pretty respectable. They can't all be 9-11. <laughs> Which I believe is an inspirational poster on the wall of ISIS headquarters. <laughs> ah, you hang in there, Ahmed. You hang in there. Come here. I'll let you in on a little secret, though. The TSA doesn't really do a whole lot of anything. The new report by the DHS Inspector General found continued problems with TSA screening procedures. The exact findings remain classified, but sources say in tests. Possibly over 70% of the time, explosives and weapons were able to get through checkpoints. Just two years ago, testing found a 95% failure rate. 95% failure rate. If they suck that bad, then by all means, get rid of the TSA. No one will mind. See, life is a constant trade-off between safety and irritation. We could prevent every car accident if everyone drove at 10 miles an hour. But we don't, because we have shit to do. Right? <laughs> when a terror attack happens, I always think, oh, my God, that is awful. Oh, that's going to hold up the security line. God. <laughs> What's next? They're, they're going to make us take our shirt off? Now I have to be early and do sit-ups. And, <laughs> and, and people are going to see my Cosby tattoo. <laughs> in, in, in all fairness, I got it a long time ago last year when I thought he was going to get off. <laughs> the TSA is the most obvious example of what we call security theatre. We go through the motions with, like, metal detectors and removing shoes and tiny bottles of shampoo and the quaaludes. Right? <laughs> but none of that shit makes us safer. It just makes us feel safer. It seems important on the surface, but it's, it's really worthless, like Purell dispensers or monogamy. <laughs> and it's not just airports. We fake comfort security theatre at concerts, theme parks, sporting events. Like, a guy shining a pen light into your bag may make you feel better, but there's no way it's helping. Check out this security guard at a Premier League soccer match. That guy's like me during foreplay. <laughs> All right, that should do it. Let's head on in. <laughs> Going through the security line makes us feel better because we're really bad at calculating what is a real risk and what isn't. We respond to the feeling of security and not the reality. People underestimate Secure, uh, risks in situations they do control and overestimate them in situations they don't control. So once you take up skydiving or smoking, you, you downplay the risks. If a risk is thrust upon you, terrorism is a good example. You'll overplay it because you don't feel like it's in your control. Terrorism sounds scary because it's beyond our control. But the truth is we're more likely to die choking or drowning in the bath than a terror attack. But for f sake, 29 people a year die being buried alive. <laughs> And that's the bad kind of buried alive, not the good kind where you pass out drunk and you wake up with a mermaid tail and great tits. <laughs> I have no friends. Some local kids did that to me. <laughs> TSA employees are kind of like mall Santas. I know they aren't really doing anything. They're typically just fat guys in uniform who have to deal with the bratty public and they have to answer the same questions over and over. Also, I once had a mall Santa order me to remove my clothes so he could give me a pat-down. <laughs> uh, 
look, it was a different time back then. Tw 2014. <laughs> but my son believes more Sanders are real. And most people believe that the TSA is actually doing something. And I think sometimes it's good to at least feel secure. But instead of worrying about terrorism, we should be worried about the other shit that was more likely to kill us, like lightning or parachute accidents. That's why our studio security doesn't even screen for guns. We, 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 we do have a, a strict, uh, no lightning, no parachutes, no shovels, no bathtubs, no fatty foods, no sharp objects, no fireworks, no bees, no tight clothing, no peanuts, no bad luck, no drop bears, no sudden illness, no zombies, and just no pianos. I've always thought it was an overrated instru instrument that takes up too much of the room. So here at the Jim Jeffries Show, we're serious about your safety.